All right, Legends, welcome back. Sorry I took some time off. I was working on my other channel, my more personal vlog channel. You can click right here if you want to check out that channel, some of those videos, or see what I look like or my house looks like or any of that stuff. Anyway, okay, so we're getting familiar with Final Cut Pro 10 right now, and we talked about keyframes in the past. I want to jump into using keyframes with audio. Uh, it's great to use them for both volume and effects. Let's see what I'm talking about. So first things first, and you can use these, say you have an interview or something, and let me zoom in on this, Command Plus. Maybe some parts of the interview, uh, maybe your interviewee or the, or the guy you were interviewing or the woman you were interviewing, maybe mumble at some parts and the volume's kind of lower in that part. Well, this video would be perfect for you. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna click right here so it brings up our audio meters right here. Now, kind of in short, you generally wanna be um, in between negative six and zero. If you go a little bit over or under, it's not gonna be too bad, but if you go lower down here, um, it's gonna be really silent and anything too heavy up top where it's gonna peak is gonna sound really distorted. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and just turn the Taylor Swift off for the time being. Goose dog, no making fun of me for only using cloud. I don't know what that is, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Okay, say we just want to bring this all the way up. So we're going to grab the whole clip and it's going to adjust all the audio the exact same way. It's going to bring everything up to 12 decibels, which is really loud. This is going to get blown out of proportion. Items, no time, two stock. No making fun of me for only using clock. Sounds like a 1960 military phone call or something. Sounds really bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this back to zero by default. And there's different ways you can look at the clips you have. Maybe this isn't big enough. So what you're going to want to do is go down here, see this icon. And I never mess with these two on the right. You can see these right here. Uh, I don't, that doesn't help me at all with my user interface in terms of, um, editing or finding content I'm looking for, but this might, especially when dealing with audio. So it takes the video clips away, but you can still see them up here in the preview and in the inspector. So what I'm going to do is actually, let's go ahead and do it for the background music. So I've got my Taylor Swift right here at zero decibels. So obviously if we play both of these. It's gonna sound like crap. You're not gonna hear me talking. That is me, by the way. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I don't wanna just drag this all the way down because in these in-between spots right here, I want the music to be louder. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna add keyframes to our Taylor Swift song. So back to zero. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, how do you add keyframes? Well, the way I do it is option right click. So I'm gonna do an option right click right here, uh, maybe right here. The more keyframes you do, the gr more gradual you could turn the volume up or down. Um, and I'll do one right here, option click, and option click. Now, you can go ahead and just grab each individual keyframe and bring it down, just like that. I'm gonna bring this one a little bit down so it's a little bit smoother of a transition. What happened there? Nope, bring this down a little bit. And I'm gonna create another keyframe right here, option K, and I'm gonna bring this back up. Oh, a little bit too much. So let's check out this transition right now. No weapons, no items, no time, two stock, no making fun of me for only using cloud. And then I would bring it back up right here. So say we wanna get rid of that, and let's go ahead and create a keyframe right here. I'm gonna do option click option click, option click. So little by little, we'll bring this up to about there and let's go about halfway between that and zero decibels and let's bring this all the way back up to zero. Let's check it out. No weapons, no items, no time, two stock, no making fun of me for only using cloud. I should probably match this keyframe with this keyframe. So this is at minus 31. Let's go ahead and keep this one down to minus 31. Minus 32. No one's going to tell the difference. I promise you. No weapons, no items, no time, two stock, no making fun of me for only using cloud. 
And the same works as if we wanted to do it up here. Say maybe I got too loud or I talked into the microphone too much. Well, what I would do is I would add, so right here it's got that little bit of yellow. It's a little bit past our peak moving into distortion. Well, let's go ahead and create a keyframe, option K. And let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Let's create a couple more first. Let's bring that down. And something like that. I'm gonna bring this one back to zero. If we're only using cloud. <laughs> so using keyframes with audio in terms of volume really helps the transition for me when I'm using background music and I've got an interview or I've got, this is my primary storyline right here with my primary audio. And it creates for much smoother transitions. Hopefully this made sense. And the next video, I wanna talk about using keyframes with audio for effects. And if you wanna get rid of these keyframes, just go ahead and click on each individual one. Right click, delete frame. You can grab them in groups. Uh-oh. Um, right click. Well, let's do a command A. Nope. That didn't work. Kind of blowing it, botching it. Uh, right click to delete keyframes. And uh, hopefully this made sense. Good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video. I missed you guys. I've been away. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Maybe this video went on way too long. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video.